Vantage Roadster, um, developed in tandem at the same time as the hardtop, the coupe version, uh, designed it to be an out-and-out -out sports car, um, one that looks beautiful with the hood up as well as down, um, structurally rigid but still lightweight, um, and giving you that torsional rigidity that you actually need when you, when you drive a, a convertible. Um, unlike a lot of the competition, uh, this is the most structurally rigid convertible in its class. You can put the hood up when you're driving up to 30 miles an hour and it goes up uh, or down in 18 seconds. Uh, really fantastic sporty car to drive. Comes with a manual six-speed gearbox or the option of our new uh, paddle shift uh, semi-automatic gearbox um, which allows you super quick gear changes, quicker than you could in any manual um, gear or you can simply press a drive button uh, and let the car change gears for you itself. Uh, it's no, no clutch pedal, just very easy to drive. So, yeah, launched in 2008, uh, spring 2008, um, it will be an exclusive car. We're going to produce 550 for sale across the world. So it's limited numbers, but it's not a limited production run. It's just 550, of which 108 are going to be uh, available in the UK. And we've got 12 months supply of cars already. It's two-door coupe, but a full four-seater. It's hand-assembled in crew. It's all about luxury and lifestyle. It's the most powerful V8 engine we've ever built. A crew. It's 530 brake horsepower, just over a thousand newton meters of torque. So it's a very, very powerful motor car, um, but it's all about being hand built and exclusive to you. The car itself is a combination of McLaren and Mercedes. Um, you've basically got the best of two worlds. Um, from McLaren, you've got the uh, you've got the carbon fibre technology that you see in Formula One. You've got the aerodynamics that again are taken directly from Formula One. Um, and you've got the performance, but then you combine that with Mercedes, which gives a car that's um, reliable, it's got longevity, it only needs servicing once every 10,000 miles, and above all, safety, because uh, at the end of the day, safety is paramount to Mercedes Benz. The show is actually uh, 12 years old now, and uh, we're looking at our record year, which is always a nice thing to commemorate that about anniversary. With. We've got a record number of um, manufacturers, 48 on site here this year. Uh, and we're hoping for around about 350,000 visitors. It's a free to visit show, which makes it really very unusual. And uh, people really seem to like the fact that it doesn't cost them money to come and look around some of the best cars in the world. So that's kind of where we're at. The Green Zone, which is a new initiative for us, um, is something that I, you know, I'm particularly pleased with. We weren't sure that, how that would work, and it really has worked very well. And so that's very nice. I, I love all the cars, and I could pick one from every manufacturer to take home. Um, it would be something I'd like to do. I haven't quite got the garage space. I think it's the environment. I think where, where it's actually held at Canary Wharf is a really unique place. It, and it really is nowhere like it on the planet. It really is a very unusual location. And I think that helps it to, to feel very relaxed and, uh, and yet very quality at the same time. Well, I hope we, the show will continue to grow and just go from strength to strength. The, uh, the expansion that we're looking at at the moment is to take the show to New York. And um, I can confirm that we're going to be doing that in September 2008. So we'll be doing June will be in London and then in September, New York, so that's uh, quite an interesting development to see.